Okay, now we look at Pahan, Pepper 1. Question 1. Which of the following elements in the period 3 produce a basic oxide? Nah? So basic oxide is uh, alkaline. So sulfur is acidic, silicon, no, agar, no, should be magnesium. Magnesium is a uh, group 2, uh, group 2. So it will produce a basic oxide. Question 2. Which of the following is a detergent? So detergent would be sodium chloride is a salt, potassium nitride salt, potassium palmitate. This one actually is a salt. Uh. So the remaining will be sodium alkyl sulfate. Uh, alkyl sulfate. So uh, the functional group for the detergent actually is sulfonate. Uh, contains the sulf like sulfate. Uh, uh. So be C. Number three, which of the following has the lowest rate of reaction? So red uh, lowest rate of reaction, let's see one by one. Burning of a uh, match stick, this one will be very fast burning. Oxidation of zinc also quite fast. Okay. Precipitation, okay, very fast. Rusting, okay, rusting will be takes time. Huh? So the lowest will be D. So which is cations? Cations actually is the positive ions. So remember, N ions will be negative ions. Okay, so a positive ion, the positive ions. So here actually there are repeated answer here. So it should be positive ions with the B A or B lah. Huh? Let's say we choose A. Number five, which of the following substance is an alcohol? So alcohol, the ending will be OL, so methanol. Diagram six, uh, diagram one shows the reaction between the sulfuric acid and the magnesium sulfate. So sulfuric acid react with magnesium. So it will produce the salt, magnesium sulfate and Hydrogen gas. Okay, so which method is the most suitable to increase uh, increase the rate of reaction? So here you can see. Okay, we can in uh, choice one increase the volume. So volume will not increase the rate. So no, use bigger size. Bigger size of the magnesium. This one will slow down the rate of reaction because. A bigger size, smaller total surface area, then reaction will be uh, decreases. Uh. Heat the uh, sulfuric acid, yes, increase the temperature, yes, like CD, replace the test tube with a conical flask. So, this one it won't affect a lot. So, C would be the answer, okay, C. Question number seven diagram shows the skeleton of uh, ancient uh, animal. Which of the following isotopes used to determine the age of this animal? So, actually, it's the carbon dating. Uh. So, we'll be using the carbon fourteen. Which of the uh, substance is a triprotic acid? So, triprotic acid actually it produce three moles of Hydrogen ions, okay. When it ionize, okay. So let's see. Okay, so this one would be the triprotic, na. Okay, phosphoric acid. So it will produce three moles of uh, hydrogen ions. So A will be the answer. Let's see B. B actually is carbonic acid. So actually is diprotic acid. Okay, this one also diprotic acid. Eh? Hydrochloric acid, this one will be monoprotic acid. Monoprotic acid means one more of hydrogen ions only. Eh? So A would be the answer. So this concept you have to uh, pay attention on it. Eh? Okay, nine. Which of the following is not a matter? Not a matter. So you remember, matter it must have two 
uh, criteria okay it has mass and occupy space so let's see okay iron okay is the matter charcoal is matter cooking salt matter okay yeah rainbow rainbow is a non matter okay which of the following salt is a colored salt okay colored huh? colored like blue green okay yellow etc okay let's see one by one salt huh? salt must be salt so copper is a matter is a matter so it's not a salt Hot. Lead to iodide, yes. Lead to iodide is yellow color. Lead to nitrate is, is if it is uh, solid, it will be white color. If it is in a solution, it will be colorless. Oh, colorless. Solution. La. Zinc sulfate also colorless. Solution. So, the answer will be B. Okay, question 11. Which of the following is classified correctly? Okay, so melting of ice cube is an endothermic reaction. Okay, yeah. Absorb heat. Neutralization is an endo. No, it should be exo, exo. Decomposition of zinc carbonate decomposition reaction will be endothermic. Huh? Dissolving ammonium nitrate salt in the water. So it will be endothermic. Okay, so the answer is A. Huh? Is A. Question 12. What is the name of the process to increase the strength of a rubber? So it's not the addition, not the esterification, it's called vulcanization. So vulcanization actually is addition of sulfur link. Eh? Sulfur links. 13. Which of the following is a composite materials? So let's see one by one. Stainless steel is alloy. Like crystal glass is a glass, porcelain is under ceramic. Okay, photochromic glass, yes. This one is the composite materials. 14. Which of the following substances has a pH of 10? pH of 10 is a uh, is actually is a weak alkaline. Okay, so ammonia, yeah. Okay, it's possible. Let's see. B. Ethanol acid. Ethanol acid is not possible because it must be less than 7 pH. Potassium hydroxide is a very strong alkaline. Will be pH around 13 or 14. Sodium hydroxide also a strong alkaline. So 13 or 14 pH. So the answer will be A. 15. The following equation shows the reaction to produce a soluble chloride salt. Okay, so soluble, we cannot choose the insoluble salt afterwards. So let's see which one will produce a soluble chloride salt. Okay, lead oxide. Okay, lead oxide is not possible. Okay, not possible. Why? Because after you react with hydrochloric acid, you produce a lead to chloride, which is insoluble, insoluble salt. Okay, calcium oxide. Calcium oxide, yeah, it possible because later on you produce a calcium chloride. Okay, it is soluble. Okay. Then calcium carbonate. Okay. After you react with the Hydrochloric acid, uh, you okay, you produce the uh, calcium chloride in a uh, soluble salt, correct? But beside the calcium chloride, you produce a carbon dioxide gas also, then with water. So meaning that it's not fulfilled the 
equation given here. So B is not possible. Then copper, copper with hydrochloric acid will be no reaction. Huh? No reaction. Why? Because it is uh, copper is a unreactive metal. Question 16. So which of the following is an oxidizing agent? So question 16. So iron 2 oxidizing agent now we have to know it is undergoes a reduction huh? reduction so reduction so iron 2 iron 2 normally will become the iron 3 yeah? so it will be oxidation okay potassium iodide so iodide normally it will turn to iodine so iodine uh, lost electrons out huh? So also oxidation. This one lost one electron, huh? Then acidified potassium magnesium seven. Yeah, this one is the most popular. Like acidified potassium magnesium seven solution is a strong oxidizing agent. Okay, then acidified potassium dichromate six solution also. Okay, then potassium chromate dichromate six. Okay, ah, uh, this one not possible. Not uh, correct because no SCD5. Okay, so C will be the answer. 17. What are the products formed when the methanol react with ethanoic acid with a reflux? So, okay, yes, air, water, yes, methane, no. Ethyl methanoid, methyl ethanoid, let's see, yeah. ethanoid acid with methanol. Okay, so this one is under esterification. Eh? Okay, esterification, so it becomes uh, ethyl methanoid. Okay, no. Should be methyl ethanoid. Okay. Methyl ethanoid, so it will be 1 and 4. Okay, 1 and 4. Question 18. Which one is a covalent compound? Huh? Com covalent compounds, just remember it must be non metal atoms, huh? non metal atoms or elements, and then share electron sharing of electrons okay so bearing chloride bearing is metal so no calcium also no neon neon is actually is a uh, noble gases uh, it is very stable already so it won't form any compound okay nitrogen gas yes and two uh, share electrons between the nitrogen atoms Question 19. What is the oxidation number for the sulfur in the sulfuric acid? Eh? Okay, so we normally we need to calculate now. Okay, sulfuric acid, we need to find the S. So H2SO4. Okay, no charge, meaning that zero. So hydrogen normally is plus one, then times two, plus the sulfur. Plus oxygen oxide nah, normally is minus 2 times 4 equals to 0. Okay, so we total up as minus uh, this one minus 8, right? Plus 2, so minus 6 is 0. So as we shift the minus 6 to right hand side becomes plus 6. So the answer will be A. 20. Which pair is correctly matched? Okay. So methanol. Methanol is not an atom. It should be molecule because uh, CH3 or H. Oh, huh? yeah. It consists of more than uh, one atom. Huh? Helium is a molecule. No, helium should be atom. Because helium is noble gas. 
Copper to sulfate, oh yeah, it is ions, correct. So because it consists of copper ions and then sulfate ions. The ion ion to bromide zone so is not the uh, molecule, it should be ions. Eh? Okay, so the answer is C. 21. Diagram shows the reading of thermometer when ammonium chloride is added to 100 cubic centimeter of water. So initial temperature, this one will be roughly is 24.5. This one is 29, roughly. Yeah? Let's say 24.5 degrees Celsius. This one is uh, 29 degrees Celsius. Okay. So what is the question? What type of reaction occur? So you see uh, if in temperature increase, obviously it is an exothermic reaction. No exothermic reaction. 22. Which of the following compounds dissolve in water? So dissolve in water meaning say soluble in water and then it is normally ionic compound. So naphthalene, yeah, no, it is molecule, so it is a covalent, covalent compound normally insoluble in water. Lithium chloride, yes. Tetrachloromethane is a covalent. So no. Sodium metal, sodium metal, it reacts with water. It's not looks like it uh, will dissolve in water. Okay, yeah, soluble in water. So, uh, sodium metal is not the best choice because the question mentioned about the compounds. So, sodium metal is the Na only. It's called elements. Eh? Uh, so, the answer should be uh, boy, eh? B. 23. Which of the following is not the product of reaction between the marble and the nitric acid? So marble here, you have to know it is the calcium carbonate. Okay, so we just write out calcium carbonate react with nitric acid. Okay, so you produce the salt. Salt will be calcium nitrate. React with oxygen uh, carbon dioxide and water h2o okay yeah. so we have to balance the equation so times two mm. okay so what are the products not a product huh? so calcium oxide you know water yes calcium carbonate uh, calcium dioxide yes, calcium nitrate yes. So A is the answer, not the product. Twenty four. Elements W it has a neutrons twelve neutrons twelve protons. So what is a symbol represent the W? Okay, so the standard representation uh, here. So here okay nuclear number uh, nucleon equals to protons plus neutrons huh? okay so protons is 12 neutron also 12 so it'll be 24 okay so in other words we can represent it like this w the top one will be the nuclear number 24 bottom one will be the proton number so it's 12 so it should be like this. Okay, yeah. So C will be the answer. Okay, question 25. The following equation represents a reaction in a contact process. So vanadium oxide is used in the reaction. What is the function? So it's the catalyst, right? Catalyst. To increase the effective collisions okay the others all are not accurate no? so d will be the answer 26 the following equation is a chemical reaction so it's a polymerization no? polymerization 
Okay, so this one is 18. So what is the uh, reaction is this? So actually, it's the polymerization. 37. Which of the following salt do not produce a gas when heated strongly? So not produce a gas. Okay. So let two carbonate. Okay, let two carbonate now. Uh, okay, we write out when we heat it strongly, you form the lead oxide and carbon dioxide. So you form the gas lah. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, this one uh twenty-seven. Uh. Okay. Potassium carbonate is very stable, so you won't decompose to form any gases. Okay, calcium nitrate, so you form the uh, oxygen and the nitrogen dioxide gas when it decomposes. Sodium nitrate, yes, it will produce uh, uh, nitrogen dioxide gas. Uh. So it will be B. 28. Okay, two hydrocarbons. So this is alken. Uh, alken. So it be ethan, uh, ethan. Okay, this is carbon, carbon double bond. So it be ethen, alkin, uh, ethen. So which property of both compounds is the same similar? So. Melting and boiling point will be different because of the bonds. Molama is also different. Yeah, it should be electrical conductivity. Yeah? Because both cannot uh, both cannot conduct electricity. Okay, why? Because it has no freely moving ions. Okay, yeah. Okay, 29. Which of the following are synthetic food additives? Ah? Okay, means it's not need natural, like it's synthetic, nah? synthetic. Pandan leaf will be natural. Sodium benzoate. Okay, sodium benzoate, yeah. Azo also. Turmeric powder is natural. So the answer will be 2 and 3. 2 and 3 will be C. Okay, 30. Diagram 5 shows a chemical cell. Okay, uh, both using the same uh, electrode. So, it will be no voltage. Huh? Okay, so which metal can be used to replace one of the to obtain a uh, voltage reading? So, graphite and carbon are the same. Huh? Platinum also the same. It's inert. Huh? Inert. So we should use the uh, uh, silver as long as the electronic uh, positivity is different, then it can produce a voltage. Question 31. The following equation shows the decomposition of copper to carbonate when heated. Uh. Okay, what is the volume of carbon dioxide gas? Okay, when 12.4 grams of copper to carbonate is decomposed. Completely, yeah. Okay, first we need to find out the number of mole for copper two carbonate first. So we have given the mass. So mass of copper two carbonate is twelve point four. So first we can find the number of mole. So we use the mass over the molar mass molar mass for the copper 2 carbonate nah? so copper 2 carbonate cu co3 so cu is 64 carbon is 12 oxygen is 16 times 3 so we total up use the calculator okay so So total is 124. Okay. So more now will be 124 molar mass. So you will get 0 0.1 more. Okay.
Okay, so this is a step one. And step two, we can do the mole ratio. So one more of copper two carbonate produce one more of carbon dioxide. So if 0 0.1 more of copper two carbonate also 0 0.1 more of carbon dioxide. So finally, we can find the volume volume of carbon dioxide na? is the more 0 0.1 times the molar volume at STP huh? STP given to you is 22.4 so meaning that use our calculator is 2.24 cubic decimeter 2.24 the answer A eh? A The next question, diagram 6 shows the uh, apparatus for electroplating. Uh. Okay, so for iron spoon, let's see the re uh, connection is correct. Silver at positive and anode, spoon and negative, correct. Silver nitrate solution, can. Then the iron spoon is fully immersed, yes, correct. So what is the half equation occur at the anode and the cathode? So at the anode, nah, okay, silver is an active electrode. So silver will uh, silver silver electrodes will ionize lah. Okay. Undergoes oxidation, nah, loss of electrons. Then at the iron spoon here is a cathode. So at the cathode here, so the silver it inside there it has silver ions and then hydrogen ions. So silver ions is lower position. So silver ions will gain electrons to form the silver matter. So silver matter or silvery solid will be it be coated yeah, electroplate the ion spoon. Okay, so anode and the cathode now. Okay, and not so this one and this one. Okay, so D will be the answer. 33. Which react equation represent a redox reaction? So redox reaction it has oxidation and it has reduction occur simultaneously. Okay. So let's see one by one. Okay, obviously we can see eh? if remember acid alkali so neutralization Re neutralization that really is non redox reaction so a out already la. and then another one is this is the precipitation okay precipitation or double decomposition also non redox reaction because if you calculate one by one, eh, the oxidation number remains unchanged eh, for throughout the uh, reaction. Now only left uh, B and C. Okay, B and C actually, if we look at C, eh, this is acid, this is zinc oxide is the best. Acid and best actually also neutralization. Okay, yeah. So the answer will be B. Okay, now we double check again. Okay, let's say zinc oxidation number is zero. Here zinc chloride, so oxidation number is plus two. So zinc undergoes oxidation already. Then hydrogen, hydrogen here is plus one. This one is zero, so decrease in oxidation number. So it's a uh, reduction, so B. 34. Equation for shows the calcium carbonate and the nitric acid now. Okay, which of the factor increase the rate of reaction? So how to increase the reaction rate of reaction? Okay, we decrease the size of the calcium carbonate. Yeah, this is the answer, correct? Because smaller uh, size, bigger total surface area. Decrease the volume, volume you will not affect. Decrease the concentration. If decrease the concentration, it will decrease the rate of reaction. 
decrease the temperature also decrease the rate of reaction so the answer will be a 35 which of the following substance can be used to differentiate the ethene and ethane so ethene is alkene uh, alkene and alkane so the one alkene it has carbon carbon double bond this one carbon carbon single bond uh. so we can use the oxidizing agent uh. So acidified potassium magnet 7. Uh. So with uh, ethene, it will decolorize the purple acidified potassium magnet 7 solution. So ethene will be no reaction. Okay, yeah, this is the best. Okay, beside uh, using acidified potassium magnet 7, okay, we write down uh, as a knot. The purple you change to colorless for eating for alkene eh? alkene alkene no reaction then beside we can also use the bromine bromine water would be uh, brown turn to colorless for alkene okay and then alkene no reaction 36 elements are can be produced through the electrolysis commonly used as antiseptic in the swimming pool okay so element s in is in the same group as element r in the periodic table so which of the following is the s okay so here actually if you know that antiseptic in the uh, swimming pool will be chlorine right chlorine so group 17 so which I which one is under uh, uh, group 17 it will be iodine okay 36 is boy yeah? boy okay 37 which the reaction between zinc and iron three oxide produce two substances Okay, so what is the chemical formula for the substances? Okay, let's write out. Zinc react with iron 3 oxide. Iron 3 oxide. Okay, so it forms what? Okay, zinc oxide and iron. Uh, and iron. Okay, so let's balance the equation. 3. This one, 2. Zinc will be 3. So the answer will be zinc oxide and iron. Okay, 37. Okay, with D. Okay, 38. Which statement is correct about lactex? It, it is obtained from palm tree. No, it should be from rubber tree. Undergo coagulation at room temperature. Withstand high temperature. Yeah, not that good nah. okay we stand high temperature no it's also known as isoprene nah. isoprene isoprene is the monomer of the uh, rubber oh. so the answer will be a uh, boil okay 38 is boy okay 39. Which of the following chemical substances can be used in a hot pack? So let's see. All the ammonium salt is and will undergo endothermic reaction. Uh, so this one cannot be. Uh, cannot be. Okay, let's see whether it's B uh, or C. B or C. Uh. Okay, so aluminium chloride also endo, so it will be C. La. Okay, 39 is C. Okay, let's see 40. What are the properties of ester that make them suitable for making uh, perfume? Perfume, the characteristics would be uh, the fruity smell or sweet smell. Okay, sweet smelling now, right? Okay, nice smell. Is this a solid? No, it should be 
then insoluble in water. Okay, for T would be D, yeah, D. Okay, diagram seven shows the glass uh, for expensive glassware. So, which type of glass actually? For decorative items, okay, we will use select crystal glass, uh, or sometimes we just select glass. Okay, for uh, for you to e uh, easier for to remember, we you see if you see the crystal is very beautiful, so you can use as a as a uh, as a decorative items. Huh? okay. For forty two diagram shows the uh, uses of zinc slabs on the steel legs to reduce the rusting. Huh? Okay, zinc slab becomes thinner after a few months. Which of the following explain this reaction? This situation actually, if zinc, zinc and the iron, zinc is more electropositive. More electropositive. Okay, so meaning that it will ionize. To form the zinc ions easily compared to iron so meaning that it can protect protected will be protected from rusting okay so meaning that zinc undergoes oxidation huh? zinc undergoes oxidation okay mm. the oxidation number of zinc should be increased huh? should be increased c is the answer Okay, 43, Mr. Lim was prescribed, uh, prescribed by his doctor, Maxon, of streptomycin. Eh? Streptomycin, you have to know this is antibiotic. Eh? Okay, this Maxon has same function as penicillin. Eh? So, which of the following is the function of streptomycin? Streptomycin. So, relief pen. No. This one should be an angesic, no? trick bacteria infection, yes. Trick depressed, no. Stimulate, no. This one, these two is for the psychotherapeutic medicine. No? So it's B. Okay, 44. Okay, it's a chemical cell using the lemon. No? So copper, zinc, and copper. So zinc is more electropositive. This one becomes an anode. This one becomes a cathode. Okay. Uh, in the, inside the lemon contains acid uh, acid contains uh, hydrogen ions uh. so which one is true copper undergoes oxidation to form the copper ions no uh. it should be uh, the zinc uh, the zinc actually brown layer forms at the copper no because inside there no copper 2 ions uh, no copper 2 ions so it cannot it will form uh, uh, hydrogen ions, uh, hydrogen ions, so, so it forms uh, hydrogen gas. Uh. Brown gas, uh, oh, it should be colorless. Bubbles gas produced at the copper, yes, this one is correct. So, because inside the acid contains uh, hydrogen ions, so uh, hydrogen ions will discharge, uh, oh, sorry, uh, uh, selectively discharge. Okay, to form the hydrogen gas. Okay, so D, D will be the answer. Okay, 45. Diagram 10 shows the platform. Plate number of a comet polyethene. So which of the following substance can be replaced polyethene? Polyethene. So which one is the best? Ceramic? Ceramic? Okay, you want, you, it is under uh, not suitable. Okay, brass is the alloy, not suitable. Okay, fiberglass also no. To replace the polythene, also we can use the latex. Uh, okay, to form the polymer. Okay, forty six. Okay. 
The grain shows a jellyfish. Eh? Its sting is alkaline. Okay. So which one can be treated uh, sting? So meaning that we have to use the weak acid. No? Okay. We cannot use the a strong acid. Sulfur, no. Distilled water, no. Vinegar, yes. We can use the vinegar. C. 47. Uh, chemical equations show the displacement. Okay. So what is the method X and method Y? So meaning that X should be more electropositive so that it can displace the Y. La. Okay, let's see. X silver y magnesium so this one not possible because x should be more electropositive higher position in the electrochemical series okay zinc and magnesium yes can magnesium and zinc here x with zinc will be not possible so let's see magnesium and silver also possible so next so let's see Hmm. Mm. Okay. Now we check one by one. Okay. Now here would be, uh, Y should be Y plus one. Then nitrate would be minus one. So, if zinc is although it can displace the zinc. But if zinc with nitrate, it becomes zinc nitrate. Okay, yeah. So zinc will be not possible. So the answer should be D. 49. Diagram 12 shows the list of chemicals found in sample of water. Okay, so it contains methane, hydrogen chloride, and silene. silene. Okay, a chemical chemist of the factory responsible to treat the effluent before this pose. So which of the following actions should be taken? Okay, for flowing the uh, effluent into the bromine water. No. Okay. Burning the methane in the open air to produce the carbon dioxide gas. Okay, let's see. Dissolve the silene in the water, passing the hydrogen chloride through the hot water. The answer here, given here, will be burning the methane. Methane actually is a fuel. Okay. Dissolve the ceiling in in the water. It should, shouldn't be because it is insoluble. Insoluble in water. Passing the hydrogen chloride in the hot water. Mm. So not possible. Okay, 49. Diagram shows the slice apple. Apple turns brown when exposed to air. Which substance that can be added to apple to reduce the turning to brown? So actually, we can add in some antioxidant. Antioxidant, the most popular antioxidant would be vitamin. Vitamin. Okay, 50. Acid with black powder so it forms a color solution turns to blue then react with barium chloride forms a white precipitate okay so meaning that what is a so SCS has many uses so what is the following is the uses of uh, SCS uh, SCS Okay, let's see first. Mm. So here we can get some clue here. Barium. Barium. Or what kind of barium salt is a uh, 
separate uh, insoluble salt so actually we know that is barium barium sulfate nah. so meaning that the acid used here should be the sulfuric acid nah, contains the sulfate and with the copper 2 oxide so it forms a copper 2 sulfate with water okay then the copper 2 sulfate with the barium chloride so is a de uh, precipitation reaction it forms a barium sulfate as a white precipitate okay so meaning that the acid here will be sulfuric acid no sulfuric acid so what is the use of the sulfuric acid making the salt not the salt uh, salt okay use make uh, manufacturing the steel gates manufacturing the synthetic detergent yes detergent uh, food additive so it should be C okay so that's all for uh, Pahang Trial Pepper 1 so it's quite uh, straightforward I hope this video can help you and then you can share with your friends those needed it then like and share this uh, videos and then do subscribe our channel thank you very much